Hey, howdy guys. So I'm currently trying to make like a ledge, I guess you'd say, out of snow. I'm up here in Big Bear right now, and the snow is about up to my waist, maybe thigh high, uh, if I let it. And I'm trying to make some coffee, and I have nowhere to sit down my boiler. So I gotta make uh, some space, you know? So today, I thought I would come up to Big Bear, because there was this big old freaking storm, snowstorm up here in Big Bear. And I thought, oh shoot, I can't pass up this. So I thought I would just come out here, make myself a French press, and then while I'm out here, I thought I'd go ahead and make a video for you guys. So if you didn't already read the title, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about staying motivated when you're not getting any views on YouTube. However, I didn't wanna just talk about this by myself because I've really only been doing this for two and a half months or so consistently. Uh, and I know that I have a bunch of other YouTube friends who have been doing this a lot longer than I have, to be honest. So I thought I'd go ahead and pass the video off to them first, I'll let them kind of share their thoughts about how to stay motivated when you're putting all this work into these videos, but you're really not getting the turnout that you are wanting or the turnout that maybe your buddy is getting or someone you look up to is getting. So I'm gonna pass it off to them and then I will talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, Armando from Mondo Bites. And trying to stay motivated when videos just don't get a lot of views can be very frustrating. I mean, it happens to everyone, including myself. Now, one thing that I've done that has really helped me out is if I associate a view with a person, and I know it could be a little difficult to think about that when there's people out there getting hundreds of thousands of views, in some cases even millions, and you're comparing yourself to them. So think about this for a second. If you take even like 100 views or a couple hundred views and you associate it with one person, and that is a lot. Like think about that. If you're sitting in front of a hundred people, hundred people are watching your video. That's pretty amazing. I mean, sometimes I don't even get that many views. Like even like 5,000 views or even 10,000, that could be like a small little stadium. Like that's pretty mind blowing. So I think if you really associate a view with a person, I think that really changes the perspective. Hi there, my name is Jackson Hayes. I'm a cinematographer, freelance filmmaker, as well as full-time student. And I have a YouTube channel. I think I'm hovering around 6,000 subscribers or something like that. And um, while that might seem like a lot of subscribers, in the grand scheme of things, it really isn't that many. Um, you know, I'm not really guaranteed any number of views. It, it differs wildly. So if I'm not getting any views, you know, people might ask like, why do you even make videos? You know, if it's nothing's really changing, why keep doing YouTube? It seems like a waste of time. And for some people, it might be. If your whole point is to get views, then yeah, I mean, if it's not working, it's not working. But that's not why I do YouTube. For me, YouTube is just a way to share the art that I'm making. Being a cinematographer, I really enjoy creating beautiful imagery and just improving my craft over time. Like for me, um, I don't really see YouTube as like my future as far as filmmaking goes. I definitely want to get into commercial productions, short films, um, feature films eventually. But as a DP, YouTube isn't really that big of a thing. Um, for work in general. And so for me, it's just about making something that makes me happy, that I feel proud of. So in the end, it's about the art. It's not really about a number. For me to stay motivated when you're not getting the views and the engagement that you want, I really think it's important to take a step back and realize that your self-worth is not wrapped up in what you do. Your value and your worth is really wrapped up in the people that you know and the relationships that you have and the things that you care about that have nothing to do with work at all. That's family members, that's friends, and that's things that bring a lot of value and enjoyment to your life that could be work related. But in my opinion, I think your real joy and fulfillment can come mostly from your relationships with family members and friends. Honestly, as well as serving other people and doing great things that bring value to others. Remember that this actually is a long-term investment, doing creative work. Even if you're doing this for 10 years, don't expect anything from it. I've been doing YouTube now for about two years and it's been a long journey and I'm still nowhere near where I wanna be. But beyond those two years, I had 10 years of experience in filmmaking and doing freelance videography work. And even then I never arrived at the point that I wanted to arrive at. Basically what I'm trying to say is that if you remain consistent with your work and you're patient with the things that you're doing, in the long term, you're going to see results no matter what. Even if it's not numbers based and financially based, 
you can know as a creative and as an entrepreneur and as somebody who's building something that you've moved forward and you've actually achieved something. And that is really a fulfilling thing. Again, don't forget to stay close to important people in your life and build more relationships and serve others. It really brings you true joy and happiness, in my opinion. I really hope this is good. I literally bought this just for this trip. I was at REI yesterday. I wasn't planning on buying this and I saw it and I was like, hmm, coffee, snow, big bear, yes. Ooh, boy, I'm sure you guys can see this. Look at this. Did I make just the right amount? Ooh, oh, yeah, perfectly. I don't know if you guys can see, I can't, if I tilt it to you, I'm gonna spill it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Mm. Oh, but it's hot too. <laughs> All that stuff aside, I wanna go over kind of my first thing that I try to do when I'm trying to stay motivated and that is like get on a plan and stay consistent. So for me, you know, I do have another job. This isn't what I normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. I work over on Armando Ferreira's channel. I'm his shooter and editor. I do that about five days a week or so. So it doesn't leave me too much time for my own content. So what I decided to stick to and I'm, I had so far for the past two and a half months, I've posted every other week, which is what I set out to do. I decided that one weekend I'm gonna go somewhere cool like Big Bear. I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna shoot something, I'm gonna make content for you guys. And then the next weekend I would edit and upload. That way I knew that I could consistently do it. And even though I'm not getting like the crazy number of views, that's okay. I mean, I feel like this is the amount of work that I can put into it right now. And I'm getting the views out of it that kind of makes sense for how often I'm uploading. Sure, if I upload it every single day, I might grow faster, but it doesn't make sense yet to upload every single day because this isn't my job. This is just for fun. This is, this is just hangout time with Connor. Oh, that's good. Everyone else gave really good points earlier in the video, so I don't wanna make this thing too long. So I'll just give you one more point as a YouTuber who's just getting into this thing, and that is to surround yourself with encouraging people. People that are going to tell you, no, dude, get off your lazy butt and go out there and create something and not to give up, even when the view count is 100 views or less than 100 views. I've been getting no views for ever since I created my channel, and I feel very blessed that this last video that I uploaded had kind of done very, very well for me. And that's kind of been really encouraging for me to see is that, oh yeah, I am growing. And I'm really happy that the people around me kept encouraging me to continue on, even though I wasn't getting any views at the time, it was a little bit depressing. But now it's like, oh, I'm starting to see that, hey, I am growing. So, and that's kind of an extra little bonus bit of advice for you guys is don't compare yourself to other people you know compare yourself to yourself and a lot of people have already said that but for me it's like this last video that i uploaded the xt3 video where i was in the sequoia national park it was up something like 600 percent from my last video and that's huge these numbers aren't astronomical in the grand scheme of youtube like i'm not getting mkbhd views but i am getting good views for for me and i am growing so make sure that you compare yourself to yourself and that you are surrounding yourself with encouraging people that are gonna constantly kick you in the tail to get off your butt, get out there and make something. <sighs> really hope this video made sense. I uh, hope you guys got something out of it. Be sure to check out everyone's channel that contributed to this video down below in the description. I have links to everything. I also probably did the little card thing as well. Uh, I'm sure you've already heard of them, but in case you haven't, please definitely go check them out. They're all amazing people. If you have any more questions that we didn't kind of cover in this that are more specific to you, because these are kind of just general ideas, be sure to ask me in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to share my opinion or maybe even tweet out to the guys that were in my video earlier and ask them and bug them because they have more experience on this than I do. I'm kind of just getting started just like you guys. Again, hopefully this video was helpful to you and that you got something out of it. Be sure to drop me a like if you enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for hanging. Mm.